Now in this video, we are in South America. Yes, we are in Ecuador today to check out Marisco Sucre International Airport, which is already right in front of us. Now, something that you'll immediately notice is that this airport is right in the middle of the city. Yes, this is the city of Quito, which is a pretty major city in Ecuador. And this is its airport, which is right in the middle of the city. This runway is pretty broken which actually is the case in real life this airport is closed now yes in 2013 the city decided to close this airport and they opened a new one which is eight kilometers out of the city it still does look like a very interesting airport to fly into maybe a little bit dangerous now how should i begin up until 2013 this was quito's only airport yes we had a340s 777s 747s flying into this airport and while this runway appears to be a little bit long it is still not long enough because this airport's elevation is 9,200 feet 2,800 meters this airport is super high you have to imagine this is higher than most alpine mountains this is just a crazy elevation and the thing about physics is that well a plane needs a longer runway the higher its elevation is so basically the higher the airport the longer the runway but this runway is just a typical runway it's even shorter than most international airport runways and obviously this airport couldn't expand the runway really i mean <laughs> Where? Now let's try taking off the 737 on this closed runway, which is also very broken. Actually, the airport is right now being turned into a park. In real life right now, most of the runway is already gone. Yeah, I might flatten the runway later on. Now this was a perfect takeoff. Even though we didn't have a lot of runway left, this was a bit closer than I wanted it to be. But this was perfectly fine. Right now we are approaching this runway in a 777, which was a very typical plane to be at this airport. Let's see what happens. Are we gonna stop? Okay, we have actually touched down. Let's try stopping now. I mean, the 777 is not even the biggest plane, but we are still almost at the end of the runway and we have not stopped yet. That can be very, very dangerous. And well, on a runway like this, overruns can happen very, very quickly. They have happened before. For example, in 2007, an A340 overran the runway. <laughs> and another plane, very interesting. Also, a long time ago, there was a DC-8 that overran. Oh, and an ERJ-190. This is one of those airports where you really, really, really not want to overrun because, you know, you have houses right next to the runway, you know? You really do not want to overrun. This was actually pretty close. For example, the A340 almost crashed into this road. An overrun could get very, very dangerous. So I think a lot of you might ask now, well, why did they build this runway there in the first place? You know, why would you just build a runway in the middle of the city? I mean, it doesn't make sense, really. But actually, this airport is pretty old. It was built when the city was smaller, you know? You know, you know, back when the airport was built, the city was probably only over there. But as the years passed by, the city grew around the airport. And then, boom, you have an airport surrounded by city, which is not ideal. You know, we can see that phenomenon pretty much around the world. I mean, LAX has the same issue. They cannot expand their airport because there's a huge city surrounding it. Now, let's obviously fly one of the big boys in here. How about the... I'm not quite sure. Maybe the 747. Right, we're coming in for the approach in the 747. This time around from the other side of the runway. Actually, the city is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This is not a small town. <laughs> it probably used to be when the airport was built, but that is not the thing anymore. So yeah, I'm pretty glad that this airport is finally down. You know, there were a lot of accidents happening and the location isn't really practical, even though it's nice to have an airport that's very close to the city. Damn, the elevation is really up there. Okay, let's stop. There's something weird about this X-Plane 747. It doesn't really... It doesn't work properly. What is going on? Oh, no. Okay, we might actually overrun into the city. That is not good. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. That was gonna happen. Oh, it took off. Uh, <laughs> whatever.